Hello everyone, and welcome to this video where we'll be discussing an important development in the Iraqi economy. According to a news article by Newshound Guru Claire, the Central Bank of Iraq has announced that it will be cancelling its currency auction window by the end of 2024. To begin, let's understand what the currency auction window is and why it's an important part of Iraq's monetary policy. The currency auction window is a mechanism used by the Central Bank of Iraq to sell U.S. dollars to Iraqi banks and money exchange companies. This allows these institutions to meet the demand for dollars from businesses and individuals within Iraq. The currency auction window serves several crucial functions in the Iraqi economy. First, it helps to maintain the stability of the Iraqi dinar, IQD, by controlling the supply of U.S. dollars in the domestic market. By selling dollars through the auction, the central bank can prevent the dinar from fluctuating too much against the dollar, which is important for businesses and consumers. Secondly, the currency auction window provides a reliable source of U.S. dollars for Iraqi banks and money exchangers. This ensures that businesses and individuals can access the foreign currency they need to conduct international transactions, such as importing goods or making overseas investments. Now. Let's explore the reasons behind the central bank's decision to cancel the currency auction window. According to the news article, this move is part of a broader effort by the Iraqi government, led by Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al-Sudani, to reform the country's economy and reduce its reliance on oil exports. One of the key reasons for the cancellation is to address the issue of currency smuggling and speculation. The currency auction window has been criticized for providing opportunities for some individuals and entities to engage in the illicit trade of U.S. dollars, which can undermine the stability of the Iraqi dinar. By eliminating the currency auction window, the government hopes to reduce the incentives for this type of activity and strengthen the overall integrity of the Iraqi financial system. The cancellation of the currency auction window is expected to have significant implications for the Iraqi economy. Here are some of the potential impacts. 1. Exchange rate volatility. Without the stabilizing influence of the currency auction, the Iraqi dinar may experience more fluctuations in its exchange rate against the US dollar. This could create uncertainty for businesses and consumers affecting their ability to plan and make financial decisions. 2. Access to U.S. dollars. The elimination of the currency auction window may make it more challenging for Iraqi banks and money exchangers to obtain U.S. dollars, which could disrupt international trade and investment activities. 3. Inflationary pressures. If the supply of U.S. dollars in the domestic market becomes more limited, it could lead to increased demand and, consequently, higher prices for goods and services, contributing to inflationary pressures. 4. Financial sector stability. The changes in the currency market may have ripple effects on the broader financial sector, potentially impacting the profitability and stability of Iraqi banks and other financial institutions. In conclusion, the Central Bank of Iraq's decision to cancel the currency auction window by the end of 2024 is a significant development that will undoubtedly have far-reaching consequences for the Iraqi economy. While the government's goal of addressing currency smuggling and speculation is understandable, the implementation of this policy change will require careful planning and coordination to mitigate any potential negative impacts on the country's economic well-being. As we monitor the progress of this reform, it will be crucial for policymakers, businesses, and citizens to remain vigilant and adapt to the evolving landscape. By working together, Iraq can navigate these challenges and lay the foundation for a more stable and prosperous economic future. Thank you for watching, and please let me know if you have any further questions.